it's ultimately a production that is all about women and, and the power of women and the power of female voices. And one of the things that's also been really wonderful, just listening to the repertoire, thinking about these women, is it's drawn out for me the incredible power of, of women's voices in opera. You know, opera is one of those, um, those instances in which women hold their own against men. The female voice is as powerful as a man's. It cuts through. As they're singing about dying or being murdered, you know, you have at the same time this voice that's so incredibly powerful performing and embodying mm. these moments of fragility and crisis. There's a wonderful moment in, we were talking earlier about Lucia de Lammermoor and her mad scene when she goes mad. Yes. And there's this wonderful moment at the end of that where as the, as the piece progresses, her voice is wandering and wandering upwards. And then towards the end, she leaves the orchestra behind and there's just her voice singing Divine. with no accompaniment. And she just is kind of drifting up and then has to land on this note without any, without any kind of support from the orchestra. And it's just such a feat in this moment where the character is going mad and losing control. Mm. The singer is exerting maximum control and there's so many moments like that. And I think that's one of the things that the show brings out as well. It's, yes. it's not just about the fragility of women or the frailty of women. It's also about the huge power of female performance and yes. the power of the female voice. And so the female voice has been front and center of, of my thinking and one of the things that you know the show really draws out is the full breadth and range and color of the female voice you know from its quietest and most delicate to its most powerful.